Hello viewers, welcome to the Sankar Study Success. Today I am going to explain about abstract data type. Okay, the next concept is ADT. This short form is ADT. Right. So this concept is very important as per two marks or one mark that depends on the paper. Okay, two marks point of view, one mark or three marks ki very important. Hi okay. the. Um, what is this abstract data type? Okay, last class, previous class, we, I have discussed what is data structure, what are the uses of data structure and what kind of data structures we have any discussions. Right? So, as an ADT ki data structure ki relationship painting. What, why we call some data structures or abstract data types, right? We'll discuss in detail about this, right? Very, very important one. Don't miss this class. And the next one is, a very first point is data structure is a programming language hmm? yes or no see we have a c language we have a cpp it is c plus plus and java programming language we have we have python those are all the programming languages they may be structured or object oriented programming language right procedure oriented or object oriented uh, programming languages we have but data structure coming to the data structures it's not a programming language it is a collection of algorithms some predefined algorithms are there to structure the data in a proper way okay so oka data ni manam oka proper way lo organize cheyadaniki manaku konni algorithms kavali right uh, algorithms ani manaki ikkada unnai ante a e concept lo unnai ante data structure ane concept lo unnai so we can say that data structure is a concept or a collection of algorithms okay to structure the data see this second line here it is a set of algorithms that we can use in any programming language to structure the data in the memory okay so you can simply say that data structure is not a programming language like c cpp and java and to structure the data in memory we require how many algorithms we, we cannot predict one two algorithms is sufficient and manan chaplain right will require maybe n number of algorithms were processed to structure the data in the memory then all these algorithms are known as nothing but what abstract data types all these algorithms are nothing but what abstract data types so these abstract data types are the nothing but what set of rules set of instructions and for example uh, we have a stack right stacks concept so stack law elements ni ela push cheyali stacks law ela elements ni pop cheyali right daniki ok criteria untundi alage ante mana stack law chesinattu ga queue la insertion cheyalam right queue lo oka rakamga jarugutundi insertion and deletion link list lo oka rakamga jarugutundi insertion deletion so there is set of rules right there are set of rules for each and every data structure in order to maintain the data right so those is nothing but the abstract data type is nothing but what set of rules and next one abstract data type we have algorithms and abstract data types and set of rules and abstract data type in computer science that is nothing but ADT is a what mathematical model for data types it is a mathematical model for data types where data type is defined by its behavior okay so data type for example we have a predefined data types right predefined data types in the c logani c people logani java logani we have integer character and next double float ila chala unnai kada so with the help of this we can perform several operations on the data when we want to store some values in a variable first we have to specify that what data type it is right so that is nothing but what predefined data types hmm? so uh, you can perform addition subtraction multiplication even you perform chu right mathematical uh, operations any predefined data types we can we can also use mathematical model uh, this abstract data type right it is a model for the data types and it is defined by the behavior and from the point of view is user of the data specifically in terms of possible values possible operations on data of this type and behavior of these operations depends on the data structure operations will be vary right depends on the data structures operations will be vary i'll explain stack add stack me add and term q add list add we have right 
సో డిఫరెంట్ డిఫరెంట్ పాజిబుల్ వాల్యూస్ ఉంటాయి డిఫరెంట్ డిఫరెంట్ పాజిబుల్ ఆపరేషన్స్ ఉంటాయి దట్ డిపెండ్స్ ఆన్ దట్ డేటా దట్ డిపెండ్స్ ఆన్ ద డేటా స్ట్రక్చర్ దాట్ వీ చూస్ క్లియర్ అప్ టు హియర్ అండ్ నెక్స్ట్ వన్ సి హియర్ సి దిస్ వన్ these two paragraphs data types such as we have int right float double long etc are considered to be what built in data types right inbuilt data types and wonder what are predefined data types and we can perform basic operations like addition subtraction division multiplication etc so now there might be a situation when we need operations for user defined data types okay there is a situation called what we can also perform some operations on not on the built in uh, we can also perform operations on user defined data types user defined data types me the operations perform cheyali ante right which we have to define okay na so maniki data types lo ma we have two types pre defined data types untayi and user defined data types untayi right so we to me the automatically we can perform arithmetic operations and some other operations we have right యూజర్ డిఫైన్డ్ డేటా టైప్స్ మీద ఆపరేషన్స్ పెర్ఫామ్ చేయాలి అంటే వీ రిక్వైర్ సమ్ డిఫరెంట్ టైప్స్ ఆఫ్ రూల్స్ రైట్ ఆ రూల్స్ సెట్ ఆఫ్ రూల్స్ అని ఎక్కడ ఉంటాయి మనకి అంటే ఏడిటీలో ఉంటాయి రైట్ సో దీస్ ఆపరేషన్స్ క్యాన్ బి డిఫైన్డ్ ఓన్లీ యాజ్ వెన్ వీ రిక్వైర్ దెమ్ సో ఇన్ ఆర్డర్ టు సింప్లిఫై ద ప్రాసెస్ ఆఫ్ సాల్వింగ్ దీస్ ప్రాబ్లమ్స్ వీ క్రియేట్ వన్ డేటా స్ట్రక్చర్ టు పెర్ఫార్మ్ దీస్ ఆపరేషన్స్ called what abstract data type okay this is not built in one this we create okay that means what stack lo insertion operation ki what i have to use push operation use cheyali to remove the element pop operation use cheyali right so ila manam pre defined methods pre defined operations ni specify chestunnam anamata okay and abstract data type is a class or objects whose behavior is defined by set of values and set of operations so add malli malli adhe point repeat avutundi chudandi add is a type or it is a class or for what objects right ipudu maniki meeku java lo ni class object ane concept untundi right so object is nothing but what instance of the class so ikkada oka object ki prathi object ki there is a some state right and there is a state and there is a behavior for that object so that depends on what it was defined by what set of values we can define those uh, operations and behavior define the values and set of operations also we can define so now the definition of add only mentions what operations are to be performed but not how these operations will be implemented see add in cheptundamma abstract data type only mention what operation ought to be performed ఏ ఆపరేషన్ పెర్ఫామ్ చేయాలి అని చెప్తుంది ఎట్లా చేయాలి అనేది చెప్పదు రైట్ ఇట్ టెల్స్ అబౌట్ వాట్ ఆపరేషన్ షుడ్ బి పెర్ఫార్మ్డ్ ఇట్ డస్ నాట్ టెల్స్ అబౌట్ వాట్ ఇట్ డస్ నాట్ టెల్ అబౌట్ హౌ దీస్ ఆపరేషన్స్ వర్ ఇంప్లిమెంటెడ్ ఇవి ఎలా ఇంప్లిమెంటెడ్ అవుతున్నాయి అని చెప్పి మనకి ఏడిటీలో ఉండదు ఇట్స్ నాట్ దేర్ ఇన్ ఏడిటి అండ్ నెక్స్ట్ వన్ ఇట్ డస్ నాట్ స్పెసిఫై హౌ డేటా విల్ బి ఆర్గనైజ్డ్ ఇన్ ఎ మెమరీ అండ్ ఆల్సో ఏడిటి డస్ నాట్ స్పెసిఫై వాట్ ఇట్ డస్ నాట్ స్పెసిఫై హౌ డేటా విల్ బి ఆర్గనైజ్డ్ ఇన్ ద మెమరీ అండ్ వాట్ ఎల్గారిథమ్స్ విల్ బి యూజ్డ్ ఫర్ ఇంప్లిమెంటింగ్ ద ఆపరేషన్స్ వై బికాస్ ద టర్మ్ కాల్డ్ వాట్ అబ్స్ట్రాక్ట్ రైట్ అబ్స్ట్రాక్షన్ ఇస్ దే in previous class abstraction ante meeku already cheppanu abstraction is nothing but what hiding the data so abstract lo maniki em telustundi ante what operation perform ani telustundi how the operations are performed how the operations are implemented and uh, how how the how the data are organized in the memory idantha kuda abstraction adi ee data type anedi chel telipadu okay edit will not tell that clear up to here so this is about add abstract data type okay the simple definition is uh, data structure lo set of operations user defined data types meda different different operations perform cheyadiki manike set of algorithms kavali aa algorithms anni manam add lo pettukunnamu so set of algorithms ni em antaru add ani antaru fine aithe em cheptundi add just tells about it is just tells about what data is to be done and data structure tells about how it is to be done okay na implementation part gaani operations gaani coding gaani anta maniki data structures lo untundi fine in other words we can say that add gives the blueprint while data structure provides the implementation part okay so data structure provides the implementation part and add will gives the 
blueprint of the code and next one now the question arises how can one get to know which data structure to be used for particular add so money put choose some stack add see stack add q add and enter okay now so this is a particular uh, user defined data types right so we take a a uh, a data structures to use what uh, what type of data structures we have to use we have to choose and they see here that depends on the data that depends on the data what we require right see this as the different data structures can be implemented in a particular edd we can implement different data structures can be implemented in a particular edd but the different implementations are compared for time and space right so we have a time complexity we have space complexity okay now based on these two parameters we just remember these two parameters manaki ekkada time consumption takku avutundo space consumption takku avutundo we choose that particular data structure right see for example stack edit can be implemented by both arrays and linked list so we have a concept called stack right so stack ni manam implement cheyachu stack can be implemented using arrays and stack also can be implemented using linked list so meeku ds lab lo the first program i think stack edit using array stack edit linked list ani ante two concepts use chesi stack lo manam data ni ela insert chestamo etla remove chestam ani program untundi okay na i'll explain all the programs later first see this one right so stack lo stack uh, edit ni manam error error lo implement cheyachu linked list lo ni implement cheyachu so ikkada manam e choose ko e di choose cheskovali manam ante that depends on our data okay see for example uh, suppose the array is providing the time efficiency okay na for example array use cheskoni implement chesam ante time gals vastundi time efficiency will be there linked list lo space efficiency is there so the one which is best suited for the current user requirements will be selected for example manam choose cheskuna data ki time efficiency kavali ante within time lo fast ga insertion avvali ante ganaka think you use the arrays or is space consumption correct ga undali anante ganaka we can use linked list okay no? so adhi stack ni linked list use cheskoni manam implement cheyochu okay so this is how we can choose the particular add abstract data type for a particular data structures right and next one what are the commonly used data structure operations id edit ayipindamma so this these three slides in for add this two marks question e vastundi so not required much and next one is what are the commonly used data structures uh, operations that we so a data structure ana chusukondi data structure lo maniki లీనియర్ నాన్ లీనియర్ అనే టూ టైప్స్ ఉన్నాయి రైట్ లీనియర్ లో మనకి ఏరియాస్ లింకల్ లిస్ట్ ఇవన్నీ చెప్పాను మీకు ఆల్ రెడీ క్లాస్ లో సో మీరు ఏ డేటా స్ట్రక్చర్ తీసుకున్నా దీస్ ఆర్ ఆల్ ద కామన్ ఆపరేషన్స్ దట్ వీ కెన్ పెర్ఫార్మ్ ఆన్ ద డేటా రైట్ సో ఫస్ట్ వన్ ఇస్ ట్రావెల్సింగ్ ట్రావెల్సింగ్ మీన్స్ వాట్ వీ హావ్ ఏ సెట్ ఆఫ్ డేటా ఎలిమెంట్స్ ఆర్ ఇంక్లూడెడ్ ఇన్ ఎవ్రీ డేటా స్ట్రక్చర్ సో వాంట్ టు విజిట్ ఈచ్ అండ్ ఎవ్రీ ఎలిమెంట్ ఇన్ ద డేటా స్ట్రక్చర్ సో దట్ ఈస్ నథింగ్ బట్ వాట్ ట్రావెల్సింగ్ for example i have 1 2 3 4 collection of data is there so i want to traverse from 1 2 2 2 2 3 3 2 4 right so this is nothing but visiting each element of the data structure in order to perform a specific operations like searching or sorting is called traversing the data structure so there is a concept called searching and sorting searching means what in searching method we can check whether the element is whether the element is existing in our list or not if uh, element is existing then it will display the element otherwise it will not display the element and sorting means what sorting means we want to uh, what perform the specific order either ascending order descending order uh, on the elements then we can use a sorting so e sorting ani searching ani chese tappudu e operations chese tappudu kachithanga we must visit each and every element in the data right so man degara unna data lo prathi oka element ni manam visit cheyali a visiting cheyadan em antaru ante traversing operation ani antaru right and the next one is insertion operation insertion operation is simple right what what it does mean means here we are adding the new elements into the our data structure that depends on the data structures okay but and is stack lo okala insert chestam linked list lo okala insert chestam queue lo okala insert chestam but anitlo kuda common ga unde method enti insertion right so the process of adding the elements to the data structures at any location is defined is nothing but what insertion 
and the next one deletion deletion is the process of removing the element from the data structure adding the new element to the data structure is nothing but insertion and removing the element from the data structure is nothing but what deletion and searching already done searching is the process of finding the some location of an element within the data structure okay to perform the searching we have a linear search and binary search or two algorithms are there okay i already i already explained there are set of algorithms are existing in the data structure based on those algorithms only we can organize the data in a proper way right so searching is nothing but what processing of finding the elements whether element is existing or not sorting is nothing but what arranging the data uh, in a specific order either may be ascending order or descending order so to perform sorting there are many algorithms used including insertion sort selection sort bubble sort okay merge sort external sorting techniques we have right we got a ds low external sorting techniques or the merge sort avi unnai okay na so bubble sort insertion sort selection sort ivanni already meeku c lo vachuntayi but insertion selection bubble ivanni kuda maniki data structures lab lo unnai so i'll explain these concepts to ओके इनर्शन लाब मैनुअल एक्सप्लेन इवीं एक्सप्लेन वन अंड मेजिंग मेजिंग इज द प्रोसेस वे टू लिस्ट ए एंड बी ऑफ सैज एम एंड एम दट मीन ए सैज इज एम अंड बी सैज इज एम अंड रेस्पेक्टिवली आफ सिम टाइप आफ एलमेंट अंत ए सेम एलमेंट उ बी लेम एलमेंट उ और क्लब टूगेदर और जॉइंट अंड प्रोड्यूस ए न्यू लिस्ट दट मीन वाच that means what i have a list called a right so a lo couple of elements unnai and b lo konni elements unnai so ee rendini nenu em chestunanu merge chestunanu merge chesina appudu it will produce a new list common elements right it will produce a uh, new list called c so that is nothing but what merging right it is a process where two list a and b or similar type of elements or club together or join together to produce a third list that list called c of size m plus n that is nothing but what merging technique okay so these are all the common operations that we can perform on the data structures clear and up to here abstract data type and what common operations are performed in the discussion and and the next one is uh, first linked list manam explain cheskovali right so linked list first linked list lo node ela create chestaru linked list lo ye operations untayi ivanni explain chesin tarata i'll explain single linked list double linked list and circular linked list one by one okay na no? okka topic okka video finish chestanu fine so i'll stop here mm, hope you understand if you have any doubts please uh, mail to me sangha study success@gmail.com thank you for watching bye bye